Hi, in this video we're going to talk about class methods and class variables. So let's do a little review on instance methods. So to review, instance methods need to be called with an object of the class as a receiver, like rectangle.getArea, where rectangle is an instance of the rectangle class. They depend on the state of the object. But what if you want to keep track of something across an entire class? So if a variable or method belongs to the class and not the instance, it is considered a class variable or class method. And these can also be called static variables or static methods. So both names will be used here. So introducing class variables, a variable or attribute of a class that is common to all instances of a class. And introducing class methods, which is a method of a class that is common to all instances of a class and is not called on an object instance. So let's dive into that a little bit more with a static variable example. So here I have the template for our student class earlier. We can see public class student. And what we've done is we've created a new class variable or a new static variable. So we've created a variable called private static int total students equal to zero. And this variable is the same for all instances. What it's going to track is how many total student objects have been created. So we can see here the way that that's going to work is we say uh, we make this static variable and static is what makes it that static variable or class variable, that keyword. And then in our constructor, we'll do the other work, but we'll also say total students plus plus. So what that's going to do is every time we make a new student, we'll add, we'll increment the total students counter. And then we'll make a static method using this same idea. So uh, we assume we have our other code in our student class. We'll add a static method, note the static keyword, public static int get total students, and that will return the static variable or class variable for total students. So now we're going to talk about another example where you already have seen and used static methods using the randomizer class. So here I've pulled up the documentation for the randomizer class where you can call methods like next boolean or next double or next int. And note in the circle on the left that these are static methods. If you see the modifier and type, they say static double. Static double, that means these are static methods. And if you remember how we use them, we actually didn't need to create an instance of the randomizer class. We called it with capital R for randomizer. Uh, and then we said randomizer.nextInt. This is the class name. It's not the name of an object. And that's how you can also easily distinguish um, class methods or static methods from instance methods. So there was another example, uh, and this is one that you'll use in a lot of your Java programs, which is the math class provided by the Java language. So here you can see in the screenshot of the documentation um, some of the field summaries and some of the method summaries. You can see we have something like static double e or static double pi or static, and then in the method, static double abs for absolute value. What this is, is these are additionally static methods. You, you can use them without an instance of the math class. So they're just called on the name of the class, capital with capital M for math. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, if we're going to use the math class and get the area of a circle, we might say something like the area of a circle is math.pi times the radius squared. And if you look at math.pi, that we're calling, you know, we're getting that field on math, but capital M math, the name of the class, not the name of an object. Or if we want to use absolute value, we can see to get that, uh, to get use of that method, we call math.abs, where again, math. Math is the name of the class. We don't need to make a new instance of the math object to use this utility. And similarly, you can see what it would look like to call, uh, you know, get the cosine, math.cos. Um, so the key point to reiterate here is that static methods don't need an instance. So if we dive into this, this line above, int x equals math.abs negative 5, 
we didn't need to create an instance of the object like math m equals new math. For, for static methods and variables, you can use them without the instances. That's the really key point. That's the really key point with static and class methods and variables. So let's go try this out in our editor. Okay, so to start out, the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a static variable to track the total number of students. So we'll say private static int total students equals zero. And note that key difference here between our static variables and our instance variables is that keyword static. So it's a small difference, but it makes a big difference. Um, and then in the student constructor, what we'll say is total students plus plus. So every time a student object is created, we're incrementing this, this counter. And then what we'll do next is we'll make a static method to actually get access to that variable. So say public static int get total students and we'll return total students. And so note the difference here is that this has that static keyword. So then we'll go over to student tester uh, and what we'll do is we'll say um, system.out.println um, and now we'll say total students plus and then we'll say student dot get total students and so before I run this a couple important things one look at this method it's being called on the name of the class and that's because it's a static method and the idea of getting the total students it's not something that applies to Alan or Ada or any specific student it only makes sense when talking about the class so if we run this we should see two. And if I made a new student, if I say student Jeremy equals new student Jeremy Keishan in ninth grade, then what do you think this number of total students will be? Let's try it out. And it's three. So let's try another example of static methods. Okay, so we, here we have a, a program that's gonna let us use randomizer, and we're gonna write um, a little program that generates 10 random ints. So we'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus, and then we'll say system.out.println randomizer.next int, and we'll go from say one to 100. And we'll run this. Great, and there you go, you can see that a couple important things. One, we're calling this method, but it's not on an instance. It's on the name of the class. It's on the name of the class. It's a static method on the randomizer class. And now we'll take a look at a couple more examples using the math class. Okay, so here's a few things we're gonna try. First, we'll get, we'll say x is equal to the absolute value of negative five. And so here we're calling it with math.abs, math.abs. That's a static method on the math class. So if we go system.out.println, um, absolute value of negative five plus x. And then we'll try running that. All right, now let's try the cosine of zero. So we'll say double cos zero equals math.cos of zero. We'll say, we'll print that out. Cosine of zero um, is equal to plus cos zero. And we'll see what we get for that. And there you go, we get one. So now let's print out 10 squared, but using a method of the math class. So we'll say int um, squared, equals math.pow 10 2 and so that's saying 10 to the second power so we'll say system dot dot print line um, 10 squared equals plus squared let's test that out okay and the little error I made is that that should be a double that return value Okay, and now let's try nine cubed. So we'll say double cubed equals math dot pow nine to three. So let's say system dot out to print len nine cubed equals plus cubed. 
and we'll print that out. And we'll see we get the correct value there. And so if you want to dive more into these um, methods, you can always check out the documentation over in the Docs tab or over on the Java documentation site. Um, and that's another example of using static methods.